Hello everyone and welcome to Miko's Corner. Today we will be playing Telltale's The Walking Dead. Full disclosure, I tried to record this episode a few days ago, did a full 30 minute episode, and turns out it didn't want to record. Got my audio just fine, but it did not record the video because it was lagging and probably too high uh, graphics. I did a test just now, it'll clip of them on the farm and I think it's working out all right so hopefully this one goes a lot better we'll delete this one so we can start fresh and you can see all of this game I know this game has been played a lot uh, but I have only played this game fully through and I only played it through once um, but I have the second game and the third game. I don't have anything beyond that. But I just finished watching um, the Walking Dead series. I caught up to the most recent episode in season 10. And I wish there was more, or there were more like uh, in between scenes between characters like Tara and Rosita, see how their friendship developed and reconciliation, all these other things, you know, see more of the kids. So I figured I would play. The Telltale Walking Dead games. Episode 1, A New Day. And get that fix that I've been craving for this apocalyptic setting. But hopefully you guys enjoy my playthrough of this. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. I wonder what those codes mean. I followed your case a little bit, you being a Macon boy and all. You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. I've been rewatching yeah, some episodes from Person of Interest. Folks drugstore right in and, uh, downtown. Carrie Preston Still apparently there? is from sure Macon. Is. Good. So it's funny that I'm replaying this. That's right, I gotta look around again. Do, 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 do. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? It's a lot of cop cars. Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Hmm. So even though I chose that, he decided not to say it. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Dude, don't turn it off. Long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Look at the road. He's got to stop. But that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. 
So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say Watch so. Out. This other time... Mm -hmm. Shit has officially hit the fan. Myself out that window. I need to Sorry. drag myself out that window. I know. It's quite a fall. That's why I hate guardrails. Even if you hit it at a certain speed, you're still gonna go over. The flies buzzing. Don't like it. He won't let me pick up the gun yet. Officer? Like he's nervous. Or maybe we're nervous because we know what The Walking Dead is. And we're expecting the cop to come back to life. So maybe it's a bit of, um, so situational irony? No, not irony, but, you know. Come on, back up. Back up, bro. Back up. What in the hell? Gun to the left. Okay, I pulled back and quickly enough. Don't make me do this. I feel like it doesn't matter where I shoot, it always goes to the head. At least when I last played this episode. This beginning bit anyways. <sighs> Someone on the hill. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Mm. 
Get going. Lee, get out of there. Dude, 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 run. Get up. I know this is a cutscene, but I still have my finger down on the W key. Go, dude, go. It's amazing how quickly so many people died. I mean, this has probably been like at least 24 hours since their accident to now. But in The Walking Dead and in the game, when the shit hit the fan, it, it seemed to occur really quickly. Just people out and about, not just in hospitals being sick with fevers and such, turning after they die. leg the way it is. Alright. Uh T set. Help! Dude, shut up. I'm filling one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Hardy her her. I don't think I'd want to go back out there. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Oh, those are supposed to be leaves. Like, what is that? Alright, let's go inside. Shoot, okay? Knowing that there's a walker in here, ah. it's surprising oh. how long it takes to get to him because he shouts shooter. at the beginning. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. <laughs> Were you hungry? Oh, Jesus. Get some water. That beep it. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. There are three new messages. Thank you. I know there's nothing in here, I just like to be thorough sometimes. Hmm. The Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. 
Those look like batteries. Alright. You would think he'd also leave his own footprints in blood, but... Alas. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. Cables out. This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? God, that kid lived here. Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Where are your parents? You know where they are. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. This time I remembered it was coming. Oof, that's a bad head. Closer than we thought. My goodness. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Thank you. Did you kill it? I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. He's been unconscious for You've 48 hours. all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but 
I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Uh, look for we help. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Alright, if she was attacked two nights ago, did she simply come back into the house? Because where's the other walker? This right. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? They won't. Let's go. I, I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's <laughs> a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Uh, really we need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my okay, family's Okay, she's not my daughter. Farm. It should be safe. Well, what do I choose? I'm not a dad. Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Okay. Staying put for too long is a mistake. That's fine. I did neighbor last time. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. If I recall, if you go at night, Chet actually dies during the day and you just meet Sean. I think I either looked that up or um, did that once. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. I think with Herschel, I'm going to go with as honest as possible about Lee and Clementine's relationship. Hey, Sean, I'm going to run on home. My mama's going to be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. You too. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just 
Some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. What's dumb is that they wrap it around his... the outside on his pants. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? I didn't. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. This is such a good series. I love you, baby. <laughs> hey, get up. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> Ew. I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Oh, duck. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. Oh, poor boy. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. See? 
The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Oh, Honey, it's mostly for duck, Clementine's this is Lee. sake. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Tell him what not to touch. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Cool. All right, there we go. That's our first episode of The Telltale's Walking Dead. I hope you guys are enjoying this series and will enjoy watching me go through this series. I'll uh, play the other games after this one if there's an interest in it. Make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications every time I post a new video. See you next time!